business radio program around. I say changing the world ain't cheap, easy, or free. (laughs) No, it's not. (laughs) So when you're looking at going to those other places, Mm -hmm. you guys, somebody has to be out making magic happen as far as the sales and and all those things, Mm -hmm. the back end stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how hard that is and like the aspects that people don't see. We just see you playing the game. Right, right. Well, it it turns out just having that, that dream, right? As long as you have the dream and you're accomplishing the dream, you can sell it to anybody. You can okay. sell that vision. So I was able to, uh, ha- well, take the coach's hat off and put the owner hat on. So I do own the team as well. Oh, you? Oh. Because <laughs> you're asking the owner questions. Like, hey, coach, oh, man, don't know okay. about the, the well, fun. Okay, so let's talk about that. <laughs> right. So now you've taken off the coach's yeah, hat. Yeah, I took that hat off. I got, I got the owner's hat Are you the GM on. too? No, that's all I was about to get to. Oh, you got a GM? I have two GMs. I have a GM and I have an assistant GM. Okay. The GM is Marcus Copeland and the assistant GM is Stephen Sabor. Okay. Now this is taking a whole different uh, it does, right? That's the GM, that's the assistant GM right there. Well, okay, okay. So if we, we had a haircut, we'd probably get him on camera. Yeah, but see, he's shy with it now. He told now he said his wife like it, you know, a little, <laughs> little, you know, a little smaller, but he's rolling that way. So Absolutely. Alrighty, so here, yes, sir. As the how do you look at decisions? different from being a coach to the owner because i always say the owner has to look for the from a financial absolutely standpoint. so when you're out there selling in the street mm-hmm. you're selling as the owner mm-hmm. because people see your that's what you're talking about when people see the dream yes there you that's go. exactly right or and mike mike he is up here talking <laughs> that's what we're talking about yes man. i agree because what you have to do is you have to understand that from an owner standpoint you have to make sure that you fill the seats we want the seats the the gym packed Right. As a coach standpoint, you want to make sure that you, that you provide the best game for us to win, as well as entertainment for the audience as well. So it's it's kind of like a, a, a really gray line. But during the season, I try to take off that owner's hat. And I trust my GM, let them go ahead and run the team. And then I, and I just sit back as a coach. But when it comes to a tough decision or like, you know, a big time decision, you know, we'll set up a conference call and we'll talk as far as management staff. So each team is responsible for filling their gym. Mm-hmm. Is there revenue shares and stuff like that in, in a league like that? No, not in a league. No, whatever you uh, maintain or whatever you obtain from your revenue shares, that's yours. Are the pe- are the players paid? No, the players aren't paid. Not in our league. Not in your league. Mm-hmm. Okay, so up in New Hampshire, mm-hmm. their responsibility is mm-hmm. to put butts in seats. Mm-hmm. The same thing is with yours. When you're you're successful here, clearly Lamar is telling me that you got that is the place to be. Mm-hmm. How do you generate that kind of buzz? Uh, you got you got to knock on doors. You have to knock on doors. I know that sounds old school, but it but works. Yes, absolutely. I was always told the best uh, form of marketing is a conversation. You know, you could put a flyer on a car, and somebody could easily take the flyer off the car and throw it on the floor. But if you have a conversation with someone, they always say, don't remember exactly. Okay. I remember you from that stuff. I remember you at Walmart. I remember you at at at, at Wawa. 